Well, hello everybody. Good morning and greetings from the Tampa RV Super Show. Today is industry day. It's, uh, it's Wednesday and as you can see, it's kind of empty. And that's the, 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 the whole point. So I can show you some of these rigs at a little more leisure. Speaking of leisure, Leisure Travel Vans is here. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Some of you have requested that I check out some of these uh, B plus RVs on the Sprinter chassis, and Leisure Travel Vans is one of the the best uh, the best ones out there. And this is another one that you guys uh, requested: a Murphy bed unit. This is the Unity Murphy bed. This is a slide out, and of course it has these two um, recliners here, and that bed comes down. There's a TV here that goes up and down let me see if I can figure out how to do it yeah I can figure out how to do it but the TV goes up and down here here you have your control center regular buttons none of that uh, multiplex you know like little screen units and here's the galley with the you know that their signature curved uh, uh, countertops and furniture and uh, kind of extension it's actually very nice they do have all these leisure travel vans they have the, the garbage back here and this one has a very nice large bathroom in the back as you can see by the way ceramic toilet <laughs> you know I like those and this uh, shower is actually quite quite spacious I'm 510 just for reference and ooh, there's plenty of room here on top and uh, if I wasn't carrying this uh, this fanny pack it would be perfect very nice very uh, you know leisure travel vans look, look at this closet it's huge leisure travel vans they do have some of the better quality materials here's a domestic and uh, seems to be a three-way refrigerator or two-way at least it's a uh, Yeah, it's not compressor, it's, uh, it's in, in absorption. And here we have a microwave. And I wish I could figure out how to lift this TV. Maybe there's um, something I'm missing. In any case, let's continue. Um, but there is a TV here that goes up and down. Yeah. While we are at the Leisure Travel Van Unities, uh, let's uh, check out this other Unity. This is another Murphy bed. Check all the plumbing. Uh, we check all the electrical, the appliances, uh, and uh, make sure that... Well, that one is very similar, and there's someone someone in there on the phone. The, the only thing with Industry Day is that there's still... It's kind of a soft opening of the, uh, of the RV show, if you know what I mean. Let's see. What do we have here? This is another Unity. And... Uh, is this open? Yes, it is. Well, this is something you guys might like because I know a lot of people are into twin beds and this is the Unity twin bed. Same, similar galley on this one, though the, the counter extension is on this side. Same very nice dip sinks. They all have that. They're all built on the Sprinter chassis. Here you have like an entertainment a dinette area in the front. There's a table that you can put down there. Same refrigerator, same um, convection microwave. And uh, what do we have here? Well, the twin beds and we have the, on one side, we have um, the John here, of course, ceramic. I don't like the fact that their, their, their sinks are usually very, very tiny. And I would be, I would personally be splashing water all over the place, but there's nothing you can do, right? And then on this side, I'm sure this is a, it's a very nice, pretty large shower. Let's get in here. Yeah, yeah, with a few inches to spare on this shower. Very nice. I like I like how they do all this accent uh, lighting and all the storage. And um, let me see because sometimes I forget to check these things. But it would be very nice if it, there was a like a. Oh, there it is. Here we have 
some USBs, which is great for you to charge your devices. And this is an inverted power, uh, uh, power on this side as well. And those inverted uh, power outlets, uh, 120 volts are great if you have uh, like a CPAP machine and that kind of thing. Or whatever you wanna charge, if you wanna go to sleep with your laptop next to you. That would work out too. Let's check out one more of these uh, unities here. And this, is it open? Yes, it is. Okay, this one I haven't seen. This one is very similar. It has, uh, oh, look at that counter extension. It's actually kind of, I have no idea how to pull it out, but that looks like, that looks like a counter extension there. Let me look, uh, here in the back, I'm sure this converts into a bed. Please ask for assistance before operating this bed. So I'm not gonna like try and break it, but look at this, look at this. This is very nice. Which model is this? Another thing about industry, they, they don't have all the information here yet. So I'm just giving you a first look here. You see, that's the one thing about industry day that I don't like much is that they don't give you a whole lot of information. There's obviously storage down here under that bed. There's no information whatsoever. This seems to be a new model. Look at that paint job. It's it almost looks like a prototype. Rear lounge, Unity rear lounge. That's what it's called. And I really like these big windows here on the, on the bedroom. And this is the island bed. We've seen this one before, so we probably won't go into it. Well, while we're here, let's check out the wonder. And of course, industry day, nothing has a price yet. So I'll probably come back tomorrow or the day after tomorrow to show you guys. This, is, this seems to be a pretty big uh, Murphy bed here. By the way, the Wonder is on the Ford Transit chassis. This one has a TV that comes up here. Boom. And it's very nice because it's this hydraulic thing. This is nothing electronic that can break easily. So I like that. It does, it does, have, a, it does have a JBL uh, sound bar. This one does have the, that... Uh, screen you know it's probably uh, it, it, they're all going into this um what's it called um multiplex wiring where from a screen or a, or a, a small panel like this you can control many of the functions same refrigerator same uh, um, convection microwave and yeah china toilet baby i like those hello everybody this is me and uh, ooh, I look, I look great. Nice tall shower, nice deep sink. I love the, the, the deep sinks that they use. I don't love the very tiny sinks they use in their bathrooms, but that's leisure travel van for you. Actually, I like this. So, something like this would be on my short list. This is probably about 25 feet which there's no way to know because they don't have any information yet. It's industry day. Let's take a look at one of my all time favorites, the Serenity. And you know what I like about the Serenity? No slide outs. This is uh, one true no slide outs, European style sort of RV. You have your lounge area here in the front and this one is sold already on industry day. This is by the way on the Sprinter chassis, the new the new uh, 2019 probably uh, Sprinter chassis. This is a 2020 unit. You got your, your domestic refrigerator, uh, convection microwave. The, the, you know, uh, Elysial Travel Vans is all about these uh, curbs here on the galley. And uh, this is the Serenity. And this back here, you can have it as a corner bed unit or as a second lounge area. If you, if you wanna use it more, more like a touring coach. And um, here's the bathroom, a little cramped, I won't lie about it. And this sinks, of course, as I told you, Leisure Travel Vines uses a very, very tiny sink. I don't know why, but the shower, which is something that I like to test, is pretty good. I mean, if you are six feet or taller, we may have a problem here on 510. That's the only thing. 
But yeah, this is the corner bed Serenity. And, uh, and this is a Unity. So Serenity is only one. By the way, I haven't looked into much of the, but all the, all the storage is locked. There's a little bit of storage. There's a little bit of storage down there too. There's a little bit of storage back here as well. And down there, one of them is the generator. This one is probably the generator. One of them is the propane. And then the other one is a, is a small storage. All right, let's look at well, uh, the last unity here. This is a unity. This is a dinette here on a slide out on the driver's side. This is the unity corner bed, which is very similar. Well, not really, it is not. I was gonna say it's very similar to the Serenity. The only similarity is that it is a corner bed unit. Um, this one is also on the, on the Sprinter chassis. You have, it feels, it feels very, very, you know, large and very ample with the slide out, with the sliding, of course, this will probably come all the way to here. There's a little bit of counter space here for you to prep. No counter extension of any kind, which is fine because this could be enough if you have a small enough uh, cutting board. I like the, the large, uh, the large uh, galley sinks. Oh, by the way, a lot of them, maybe I didn't show you, but this, uh, they have the, that pull out pantry, a lot of stuff that you can put in there. Same deal as everybody else. A small-ish wardrobe closet. And here the bathroom. Well, yeah, it's very similar. I like this, actually. This seems to be a nice shower head. I'm kind of partial to the oxygenics, but this, this one seems nice. All right, let's continue exploring. That was Leisure Travel Vans here today on Industry Day at the Tampa RV Show. I'm riding, riding in my 